Hi, Hi sisters. sisters! James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am so excited to bring you guys a brand new episode of Beauty Battles with two of my favorite people on the planet, the ones that gave birth to me, Sister Mother Charles and Sister Father Charles. Welcome Bro. to my channel. Brother. Oh my god, we're all playing this game again. So my entire family is currently visiting me right now in LA. And on my channel, I do a really awesome series called Beauty Battles, where I have two different people both take one half of my face with all the same makeup products, and they are challenged to see who is the better MUA. And being that these two people came together to give birth to me, a makeup guru, I figured what better way to test out who I really got the makeup knowledge from, my dad or my mom, than have them do an episode of Beauty Battles. So that is exactly what we're going to do today. How do we feel about this? Are we excited? Excited, I am. <laughs> I am excited. I'm a little nervous because although I wear makeup every day, your father is a much better artist than I am. Yeah, so I was gonna say that too. I think that the playing field is definitely actually even in this situation. My mom wears makeup every day and is a true sister. She watches all my YouTube videos. She's always the first person to text me every single time I upload, be like, great video. You can't drink on camera. I didn't. <laughs> I definitely think she has the makeup knowledge, but my dad is far more creative, far more artsy. I think, like we said, this could be anybody's game at this point. Without further ado, if you'd like to see my parents battle to see who was the better Emmy way and learn about me and my childhood and our crazy family, keep on watching. Okay, so for today's video, I picked this look out for you guys to try to recreate today. It's really simple. Sure it is. I'm gonna take the tart shape tape. You're doing this first? Yes, because that's what I do in mine first. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's why she looks the way she does. <laughs> wow. So I tutored your sisters and I asked you guys to send in questions for my parents to answer about me and my childhood and growing up with me and sister Ian. So are you guys ready for a quick little Q and slide? Sure. Why are you pushing it? You're pushing his face. You're, you're. I'm just holding my thing gently, and you're like moving his face. Focus on your side. I'm trying to, but you keep moving it around. The first question is from Jenna, and she said, how, <laughs> to you guys, how did y'all react when James wanted to start doing makeup? I just was confused at first because I've never seen boys wear makeup. I have. So, <laughs> when? My first thought was that perhaps he was transgender, which would have been totally fine but that was a whole new, unfamiliar area for me, and I was nervous for him, and I was nervous for myself because I knew things would change. But once we realized that James was comfortable with himself, we were comfortable with him, and we were very supportive and still are with what he's doing. Yeah, for sure. It was definitely like a rough patch in our family, and everybody was just kind of confused, but I kind of like tried to explain to them as best as I possibly could that I was comfortable with my gender identity and just wanted to do this to kind of express myself. Um, and of course, like once I started like gaining followers and getting paychecks and stuff, it became more of a reality that like I wanted to do it as like something serious rather than just a little hobby after school. Going back even further, Zoe asked, what was your guys' reaction to James being gay? You're gay? You're gay? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Do you have the better side or do I? I'm not sure. I got it. <laughs> no, mom has a better uh, side, actually. I can see? Tell. Oh, excuse me. Nicole asked, how was the family decision of James not going to college? And if he did go, what would you have liked him to study? Architecture, interior design, fashion design. I think that would have been his forte. Actually, the whole college thing happened rather quickly. Um, in my mind, he was... Took a week for her to <laughs> I believe, yes, that he would have studied something in the creative arts field. And I was still determined that he was going to go to college up until the very last <laughs> second. Okay, so I actually have a follow-up question for you two. I was in high school working really hard and doing well on my grades, but kind of last second I kind of hit you guys with, hey, I'm graduating early and moving to California, not going to college. Do you have any advice as parents to any other parents out there who may be watching with their kids about college and for those kids who might not feel like college is the right path for them? Obviously, each individual, each circumstance is... <laughs> Obviously, each person, each individual... <laughs> We're gonna be here all day. I won't laugh, I promise. Go ahead. So obviously, each individual is unique, each situation is unique. We, no, I'm done. You answer it, smarty pants. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. 
if your son or daughter's got good grades and they've been working hard and if they want to go to school, let them go to school. If they don't want to go to school, you're in the green for about 80 grand a year. So look at it from that standpoint. <laughs> Life on a budget. Life on a budget. There, there you go. go. M asked, what's the most embarrassing thing Sister James did as a child? T-ball sitting at the second baseline braiding the second baseman's hair. That's embarrassing. She looked great. Gabriella looked amazing. Well, she did look great, but we were at a t-ball game. <laughs> Priorities. I didn't think the baseball field or the infield was exactly the place to be braiding Gabriella's hair. That's what did it for me. <laughs> That's when I knew something was a little different. <laughs> Mom, what do you think? I do remember that situation. I also... <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute how you're like, actually trying so hard for every question. I think it's cute. That's I'm why it's funny. Hard. <laughs> Just be natural. You're doing fine. Your egg looks good. It's nowhere near as dirty as mine. Edgar asked, how has James becoming a big influencer slash famous changed your guys' lives? I think the major change is him just not being with us all the time because he's living in California. But it is very surreal for me when we are here visiting him or when we were in New York City a couple months ago. People recognize him, stop him, and want an autograph or a picture and to me, to us, I'm sure he's just James. And to the world, he's James Charles. And it's kind of cool to see that everybody just loves him. Too. But yes, it definitely is a little scary. A little scary as well. So you guys mentioned in the last question how it was sometimes a little bit scary for the world to kind of like know me. So this question comes from Nicole and she asks, Mama and Father Charles, how do you guys feel about the hate James gets for anything? As a fan, it always makes me so mad, but I'd like to know how you feel. It's it's terrible. And because he's a new quote unquote celebrity, we are not used to this. And I, I do, I, I admit that I do read the comments. And it just breaks my heart that there's so many people that are so unaccepting of people that are unique. And if you don't like what somebody does or what somebody believes in, then that's okay. But don't, don't be mean, don't be cruel. And it, it just, it breaks my heart. People are <laughs> for the most part. That's why I don't participate in any of that online stuff because as a father you only have a couple responsibilities in your life one main one is to make sure that your kids are safe his safety has always been a priority to me that's what scares the hell out of me because there's a lot of <laughs> out there <laughs> and uh that's always scared me still does i'm grateful for all his fans that follow and protect him and support him because it gives me strength to know that there's plenty of people out there that don't feel the way those selected few do. So, so. Thanks, Dad. Okay, so Dad, this one is for you. And in a lot of cases, when it comes to boys and beauty, we unfortunately see a lot of like horror stories online about their fathers not being supportive. From Sister Colina, Papa Charles, what was it like building James's glam room in the basement? I put a mirror up and some makeup lights and tried to do the best I could to give him what he wanted. His glam room used to be my office. <laughs> it was. So I had to move out of my office pretty much, which was no big deal, but um, that's what I do. I build stuff, so it was no problem. I had fun. That was, I think, a really cool experience to be able to bond with my dad because we've always been really close. We've always built stuff together, but obviously, like we were talking about before, makeup was definitely a really rough patch for our family when we kind of started off. So that was a really awesome just experience that we had together because it really showed that mm -hmm. like they were beginning to be way more supportive and help me in my career. It was clearly obvious that he was dedicating a lot of time and a lot of energy to it. And it was going to be something that he was going to pursue. So it just made sense to take it to the next level and give him a better area to work and a different setup. So that's what we tried to do. Next, I'm going to use the Morphe 35O palette for some color on the eyes. Mm -hmm. Use code James for 10% off. That's right. Daddy's awfully concerned about his uh, shadow. Don't you over worry there. about Daddy's shadow. Okay, I'm okay. not worried. Carolina asked, what was one thing you didn't allow James to do, but he did it anyway? Wear makeup to school, I would have to say. Everything. <laughs> All right, eyeliner. Oh, God. This goes on top of your eyes, right? Yeah. I'm going to start at the inner, I guess. See, I don't have a steady hand. I should probably put my glasses on. Oh, that was pretty good, I think. Don't be looking at mine. I was not. You were. Nope. You were. Nope. You're looking at mine to see what I'm doing. Where's that good doodle on the bottom? I, I don't know. If, I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I want to put this on your waterline. Am I going to hurt you? No. I'm going to put it on your waterline. 
I'm not putting this stick in your eye for Christ's sake. That's, that's, that's not right. What do you mean it's not right? Well, why would I put a stick on your eye? Do I go on underneath your eye? No, it goes in it. No, f no, I'm not putting something in your eye. It makes them look pretty. It's okay, they look fine. I'm doing his eyebrows next. I'm gonna fill in the brows. Mm -hmm. Little wisps. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> Don't you worry about very competitive. I am. What are you looking at? Nothing. Okay, brows in this family is a funny subject because thank God me and Ian got my dad's brows because my mom's eyebrows. <laughs> You're gonna pick on my eyebrows? Yeah, they're horrible. They're like okay. 70 feet apart. Well, when... <laughs> <laughs> my eyebrows are 70 feet apart? Yeah. I just put in a little line at the end. I, I don't know. I you know. should put them together. You should oh, so move... I shouldn't put them more together? Yeah, yeah. you should start like right here <laughs> and yeah. right there. Yeah. Oh, so I need to put little hairs. You're, you're actually 100% correct. Oh. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Get me up in the morning when you're ready to do your eyes. I'm super excited because I've only done my mom's makeup I think twice. Every time I do it she complains because it always looks too much but you know what? I think Sister Christy is ready for a full glam makeover so if you guys want to see that give this video a big thumbs up down below. I'm gonna slay her eyebrows. I need some tips on how to look prettier. That's you already look beautiful. Thank eyebrows. you. But your makeup game could be a little better. I'm sure. That's <laughs> I'm done with my brows. I feel confident that your brow on the left side looks beautiful. You go girl. Bam. Oh, no, Nailed the brow. <laughs> is it snatched? No, it's... It's, snatched that's is a, a good thing. That's yeah. a good word. Snatched. Uh, yeah, it's snatched. <laughs> Does this involve glue? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On your eye? It goes on the bottom or the top? Don't know. <laughs> All right, so I've never worn false eyelashes before, so I'm not sure if you put mascara on and then the lashes. And I know after you, the lashes, you always put the mascara on to blend them t together. I have no idea how to do this. Hey, I think I did it. I'm going to put this on and try not to glue James's eyes shut. Wouldn't be the first time. Kim asked, what is your guys' favorite makeup look that I've ever done? My favorite is the solar eclipse. That's because that was your idea. It was my idea, but it also was a very creative, very cool look. That did well, I believe, too, for views. It did. Okay. <laughs> Love a marketing mother. Yes. There's been a number of them. I like the, the one with the hand. Oh, that was when you first started. The, the, the skull. skeleton? Yeah, yeah, the skull. That's from like two years ago. I know. I still, like that it's one? one of my favorite ones. I thought it was really cool. And I also like the one with the matrix, that you, the color matrix on your lips. Oh, yeah. I thought that, that was extremely oh, yeah. intense. I thought those that Those were like my old, old, old yes. Yeah, looks. those were some of my favorites. When I was younger and still had time to do a lot of those creative looks, I would go to school all day for eight hours and then go home, go home and, and do my homework and then go to work at my frozen yogurt shop and then sometimes go home and finish my homework or if it was a really late night, sometimes do a makeup look, and my mom always goes to sleep at like 6 p.m., so my dad would always be the one awake, so he was always- At 11.30 midnight, yeah. as he'd come upstairs and say, what do you think? So I'm he like, would always be the one to see you... the looks before they would go live. Okay, uh, this question is from Sister Sebastian, and he asked, what were the options for James when he found out you were pregnant? What kind of question is that? Oh, what were the name options for James when he found out you were pregnant? <laughs> if James was a girl, he was going to be named Chloe. And he was named James Charles, James after his grandpa who passed away two years before he was born. And Charles is my dad's middle name. So hence, James Charles. I know you like to have a full lip. Oops. So I know you overline them. Oops. To make them look, oh boy. There's a lot of oops going on. I... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm pounding on the beauty blender again. I had a little bit of a boop. I do now as well. <laughs> All right, thank I'll you. wait. I'm sorry. Thank you very I'm much. I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. I'll wait until you finish lining. Thanks. Now I'm going to go in with the liquid lips. Say I the have color. mine's uh, Oprah liquid lipstick. Ofra. Ofra. <laughs> Stay on your side. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna like do the corner of his mouth. Yeah. No, yeah. don't, no, don't, don't do put that. the mushroom on there. You just don't look very, usually you're like. How's it go? <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, I can't do that. I can't. Oh, wow. Sister Ian, you can do that? Brother Ian. Oh my God. Okay, so. All right, last step, I believe, setting. is the setting, the setting spray. spray. Oh, Sorry. that's very close. Sorry. <laughs> the next 
one. That's, That's it. it. Okay. Wow. Oh, she got it! <laughs> On my first wow. step, my first try. <laughs> Woo! I think my mom and dad have completed their beauty battle for today. I have not seen the finished result yet. I'm a little bit spooked, magooked. My dad just did me the honors of cleaning my mirror for me. Are we gonna rotate it too? Ready? Yeah. One, oh, two, three. Ta-da! Oh, that's an interesting look we have going on here. Well, let's go through. I feel like the base for both sides is looking... Mediocre. Mediocre. <laughs> At best. <laughs> you both powdered after, which is great, because nobody wants a wet face all day long. Yeah, nobody wants a wet face all day. No. No. I think Dad definitely took the Isla comb. Really? The lashes place on more accurately. Oh, my, I, my I didn't do my lash right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Looking at it, I would say no. Daddy didn't do the waterline now. Don't you like mine? mine I didn't want. I was afraid. Was I didn't. Beautiful. Thank you. I didn't want to put any. I didn't feel comfortable yes. putting a pencil in his eye. I know. Regardless of the finished makeup look today, I am so thankful to have two extremely amazing and supportive parents that love me and love what I do. So thank you guys for glamming me up today. I will be very, very honored to walk outside of this makeup look on my face. Maybe not. I don't know about that. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today and learned a little bit more about us as a family. We are crazy. Somebody please send me an email about a reality TV show. We will definitely get on that. That is for sure. If you guys did like it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and subscribe if you have not already. We just hit literally 3 million subscribers last night, which is so it like literally blows my mind. Thank you guys so much for the constant support and love always. You all mean so much to me. I never in a thousand years thought we would ever be at three million subscribers. So this is so crazy and unreal. So from me and my family to you sisters out there, thank you so much. And if you haven't already clicked that subscribe button, subscribe, come to the sisterhood. We are pretty lit. It's a good time. I promise. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. They're both just James Charles. And my Snapchat for more behind the tea side stuff is James Charles and the extra S after Charles. My dad does not have any social media accounts. Please do not go look for him. But my mom does. You won't find me. If you'd like to follow my mom, her thing is ChristyB19. I'll put her thing down below. She always posts pictures of me and Ian and she always comments and likes back too. So if you guys ever want to talk to her, she's there and she's great. So go show and her the sister And if you want to talk love. to me, you can talk to her. <laughs> This video's sister shout out goes to sister Gabby. Thank you so much, babe, for always following and supporting. I literally love you so much. And if you guys would like to be the next video sister shout out, make sure to always retweet video links so we go live on Twitter. All right, sisters, thank you so much for watching this video. We love you so much, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Use code James for 10% off. T. <laughs>